It's the beer video. What is with the sun? I can really answer. Oh, there you go. I couldn't hear you. Uh, it's a uh, really. Oh, oh, you said sound. I'm sorry. Sun. I, I said sun. What's with the sun? Okay. Um, it's not out in Minnesota. It is really rainy and shitty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's 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 bright and sunny here. I just mean that we we keep doing these in the daylight, and it's very weird, and I don't know how to adjust. Yeah, well, at least it's making me look somewhat alive. Um, I am still pretty sick. Hey. Uh, less than I was earlier this week. It's now mostly just a leftover sinus headache. Uh, still, that sucks. Not the, not the best. Yeah, not my favorite, but at least. Um, my sense of smell and taste works which is going to be useful we're going to need it yeah yeah um it's wrestlemania weekend um that's what you don't understand the length that hell and i have had to go through to get this fucking beer video done <laughs> it's just i don't know <laughs> it's insane there's there's so much wrestling this i've watched so much wrestling i have wrestling on downstairs right now because the dog is downstairs by herself oh no. uh, yeah and uh, I left her with the GCW versus TJPW show. So hopefully she's uh, watching um, some of the finer uh, American women wrestlers and the Japanese Joshi wrestlers uh, doing their thing. Yay. <laughs> I am not really familiar with most wrestling, apart from like the local stuff, yeah. which I think I've shared with you before. Uh, yeah. You got you got a year to brush up because WrestleMania is in your uh, your your town next year. So, no shit. Oh, yeah, so I there's going to be a million shows in Minnesota next year. Nice. Yeah. Do we know where Minnesota yet? Well, they're going to have the WrestleMania will be at the football stadium. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah. Uh, I haven't I I haven't been there ever. I don't think. Which is, well, I guess I have no reason to. Um. <laughs> But uh, it's very, the stadium's very ugly and uh, it's, the outside is mirrored and apparently like it, <laughs> it just gets regularly ringed by dead birds because oh, birds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. yeah. And uh, we're still paying for it, I think. Uh, oh, you'll always be paying for it. Yeah. I think paying for the Steelers and Pirate Stadiums and those have been open for 20 years. Yeah, um, it was pretty funny how that stadium came about because our old stadium, the Metrodome, collapsed. Um, the roof collapsed. I during... remember that. I probably sent you a video um, at some point. I was That was like the uh, year I moved to Minnesota, and it was the fourth snowiest winter in Minnesota history. Oh, my God. Jesus, that, that was a rough winter for, for me for a lot of reasons. But yeah, like that was one of them. Um. But yeah, like it's great. You can see like the there's a like the slow trickle of snow it starts with, and then like yeah, the roof just like <laughs> collapses. You can see like the one like guy in there cleaning, just pelting for the exit. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh. uh, stadiums. Why do we have them? Oh, right. Uh tourism dollars but i don't know i feel like even when the super bowl was here i hardly noticed really yeah notice next year during wrestlemania it'll be crazy because not only are the however many people that stadium holds not only are those people all going to be there but like seriously with i'm not exaggerating there'll be like there'll be like 50 other uh independent wrestling shows that kind of piggyback on wrestlemania like in smaller venues around minnesota um yeah it's not on like a metal festival I'm pretty sure first wrestling is gonna do some cool stuff. They I'm always sure. they always do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Um, so yeah. Speaking of WrestleMania, so you went first last week, uh, because I have a sticky note that tells me that. So I'm gonna take it down. <laughs> That's how this goes. Um, weirdly enough, I didn't get a chance to go to get a to get a fresh new beer, but I've had this beer for a while um that i was going to use for the beer video and then i just kept finding other stuff so i was like maybe this is time to give this thing a try um <clears throat> it's a uh, against the grain makes it it's called black pills blk p-i-l-s it's a black lager and it's got uh 
a cool zebra uh, and a and a something else. Uh, is that a leopard? I don't know. On the cover or on the can. Um it's five percent alcohol. Uh so dark malt exit light is oh Christ. This is a fucking Metallica reference. Dark malt exit light, black pills enter night. Oh boy. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, not my favorite Metallica song, but well, I'm keeping. Yes. Yeah, I have, least... weird, I have a weird feeling about the Black Album, where like when it came out, I liked it because I was a dumb teenager. Um, but I guess like there's like there's a couple of K songs on there. I mean, it's not, it's one of my least favorite Metallica albums, but it's not an embarrassing one. I mean, it's, yeah, it's the biggest selling metal record of all time, which doesn't mean anything, but. Uh. Well, yeah, it's not, it's no St. Anger. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, oh, so I'm drinking out of a Finn Balor glass, again, since it's WrestleMania, and Finn uh, lost last night, but uh, he won he wins in our hearts. Ooh. Every time I see oh. that name. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, well, this exploded. Shit. That was unexpected. Look, oh boy. At, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I know you, uh, you quit Twitter because you're smart. But I I'm drawn to it because I love rubbernecking train wrecks. And oh, anyway, there was some like you know one of those like ten million Nazi accounts that just like proliferated on there after like yeah. Elon that he was bringing free speech back or whatever. Yeah, one of them <laughs> posted a picture of this like pretty blonde bartender holding like one of those tall glasses, you know, the tall like Hefeweizen glasses. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? Anyway, so she's holding up a beer in one of those that's like this much beer and this much foam. And uh, but you see, she's pretty and blonde. So like this dude is just like, this is what bartenders used to look like before woke. <laughs> just like, oh, so they couldn't pour her fucking beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, we're starting to get some beer here. <laughs> well, I. <laughs> oh man, God, that's that's reminding me actually of how I learned the hard way that you need to um, cold store dessert stouts or any other beer with a ton of sugar. Yeah, because like I was saving one for my aunt because uh, there's this brewery here that she really likes. Yeah, and you know, day of the family reu bleh, reunion, right? Like yeah. I in my cupboard and i'm so excited i'm like oh she's gonna love this beer so much and all i found is an empty can and just this like explosion splatter like all over because uh, i put it way up in the cupboard and didn't look at it for a while yeah i was able to replace it for her but i was like no i'm just gonna drink this from the can yeah probably the best decision <laughs> That's not a promising sound, Brian. Um, it's not. Oh, not good. Um, um, how do I put this? It's kind of boring. Yeah. It sort of has. Oh, well, there goes my voice. <clears throat> it sort of has a um, like an American adjunct swill taste. Mm -hmm. I expected. I really expected this. I mean, it's a pilsner. I get that, but um, or it's a black lager. Oh, what the fuck is it? 
It's a smooth lager brewed with dark malts for balanced bitterness. There's not that much bitterness and dry finish. It does have a dry finish. Uh, this light bodied beer will make your taste buds go bump in the night. They didn't. Uh, brewed in complete darkness by blindfolded brewers. There's your problem. Black Pills is a beautiful black lager that will guide you away from the light. Um, it's a lager for sure. I can definitely taste that. Um, I guess I expected this to taste a little richer and um, I guess a little toastier. Um yeah, this thing could be gold. You could blindfold me, and I could drink this, and I would guess the color. I would just guess gold. Um, I don't know That's why. A... I don't know. I guess I expect it to be darker and richer, and it's really not. It just tastes like a lager. Um, I I'm not. Lager is probably my least favorite type of beer. Um, so this isn't really uh doing it for me, and it's, I hate saying that because I I've had a lot of really good. I I really like uh, against the grain. I've had a lot of really good beers from them. It's not like this beer sucks. I'm not saying that, but uh, it's not uh, not for me. Um, it just it kind of just tastes like somebody random handed you a beer at a cookout, and uh, you're just dealing with it because that's the only beer that's there. Yeah, that's disappointing. I've had some dark lagers before. I really liked like it's not they're not uh, dense like stouts or porters and they aren't quite as malty as like a I don't know like a um what's brain not working you know yeah. like a that's what I was searching for but um yeah they tend to have like kind of a richer toastier flavor than like a standard lager that kind of should be what sets it apart but yeah that's weird did they just use the malt for color or something that's right maybe I, I, I don't know maybe um it's just unimpressive. I'm not crazy about it. And um, I don't know. It's not that bitter. Like, I, I really expected more bitterness from this. And um, yeah, it's I'm disappointed. It's disappointing. We've had a lot of, I had a string of some uh, really good beers. And uh, this isn't my favorite. Sorry, Against the Grain. Uh, we'll try again. Oh, well, you know, honestly. I've known where it exploded in my face. It's uh, it's kind of refreshing to have one that one of us didn't like. Well, I guess yeah. it remains in with mine, which I've also had sitting in my fridge for a while. Um, this that trip to the fancy beer like, three weeks ago really paid off. So hopefully this one explode. Yeah, let's um, hope. Ugh, gross. Anyway, so I will show off my hoodie first. I'm wearing a Hammerheart hoodie. Yeah, I knew, just, it, I knew it from the sleeves, by the way. Yeah, they just started beer production again yeah and i am so excited i can't wait um they can just serve me like a glass of water with some hot stirred into it uh, <laughs> and uh austin seems to be really having a having a time up there up there by the canada border yeah good for um, him. yeah i know some some people do not follow them quite as obsessively and i saw like some people expressing concern that they might have shut down permanently but no not the case they're, yeah. they're back they got all their permits and shit they are brewing beer right now and i i want it so much <laughs> <laughs> almost almost there yeah um who knows and ooh, uh <laughs> i'm gonna go off on a little tangent i'm sorry please but as you know um Matt and I are going on vacation starting this coming Friday. Nope. And a fun thing I found out when I was going through our airline booking is, did you know when you're going to the Netherlands, like we are, you need at least three months left on your passport? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't either. Neither did Matt. And he had two and a half months left. Oh, no. Yeah, I called him from work, you know, because like I was... Uh, looking stuff over because it was a slow day at work and uh i was like how many months are left on your passport again and he's like two and a half why are you hyperventilating <laughs> so luckily um a there is a passport agency like the government office that actually prints passports in minneapolis oh, in down fortunate um uh they 
to be like really booked up all the time, but I guess they've kind of smoothed things out. So he was able to get an appointment to see them like the next day. Yeah. Um, I filled out his application form because he, he needed to have a printed copy, he, like sprinted to the drugstore to get a passport photo taken. Jeez. Like, um, and you know, I printed out like all our travel plans, like because they need some proof that you do in fact need a passport printed urgently. Yeah. Um, like, you know, and after after we got all that together, I just like sat down and felt like I just sprinted like five miles and smoked like a pack of cigarettes. And like, but you know, he goes in for his appointment, takes 10 minutes. Yeah. And you know, he was apologizing all the place. And the guy's like, look, this happens more than you think. It, yeah, I'm like, sure it does. Yeah. Yeah. I think these rules, like you have to have X amount of time left, are fairly new. Yeah, I hadn't heard that before, but yeah, um, I don't travel never, because, like, um, last time I had to renew my passport, I just kind of did it as soon as I was able to. Yeah, and yeah, I'm kind of jealous. His new passport is really slick. It's uh, got all these weird security devices on it, and mine looks all janky. <laughs> But one fun thing they added, like near the signature field on there, is like, oh, by the way, uh, you're you need like X amount of months left on your passport to those countries, and it's like, well, I'm glad that they're putting it somewhere. At least you saw it. Yeah, just suck to fight figure out Friday morning. Yeah. When I found this out, um, when I was trying to figure out what what we had to do about it. I saw a bunch of horror stories from people who like found this out when they weren't able to check in for their flight. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. Anyway. A bad time to find out. Oh God. So anyway. Oh, my, wait, my shirt, my shirt. Uh before you so it's WrestleMania. So I'm wearing a Rhea Ripley shirt. Rhea Ripley last night beat Becky Lynch uh to retain her women's title. And this is a shirt that I will explain it, but I don't think I really need to. Uh, if you don't know who Rhea Ripley is, Helen, look her up immediately. Okay, I will, because I love Becky Lynch. So yeah. Um, so this is a shirt that they sell children, uh, and I own it, and um, I'm not embarrassed that much okay. to wear it. It says, "Mommy's always on top." Her children, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think there's a child. I think there's a youth version of this shirt. I think. I could be wrong, I think. But um, yeah, so you know, double du double meaning. But uh Rhea Ripley is really smart about using she realizes how horny uh a lot of women are for her. And uh she uses that a lot to her advantage, and uh it's great to watch. I love her. Well, bless her. <laughs> yeah, look her up. You will I you will not be sorry. Okay, well, this is uh, from, it's a collaboration, actually, between Fair State, who I featured on here before. They are a unionized, cooperatively run brewery, um, put out some really good stuff. Um, and Bent Paddle, who are from Duluth, I think. Mm -hmm. um, they do a lot of uh, a lot of pretty good standard beers. Like their cream ale is a real standout. That's a style I don't usually like, but theirs yeah. is pretty. And this is a a dip hopped IPA. I did a little Google skim over what that entails. Apparently, just kind of a different method of extracting hop flavor. There you go. And we'll see how. Oh, that's pouring real clear. <laughs> it, it's pouring better than mine did my my finally looks like beer jeez don't see about it's not very good yeah um that was a lovely color see-through mm -hmm. you can see my shirt yep hmm That's nice. Kind of a um kind of a smooth uh fruity flavor mostly with a little aftertaste of bitterness. 
almost yeah like kind of a citrusy mostly with a little bit of stone fruit mm. this is a pleasant beer kind of what i expected from uh uh a fair state bent paddle collaboration doesn't try to do anything wacky with the flavors or um you know go for anything super out of the ordinary it's just it's just a well-made beer um using it like a kind of unconventional technique but you know it still tastes like beer it's good beer yeah. i forgot to tell you this is called rudimentary scrapbook and it's got this kind of little collage on the can yeah so look looking at that that's kind of cool looking i like that yeah it reminds yeah. me wait a minute i'm gonna look this up go ahead um yeah, I find, and Fair State actually has canner like this a lot, which I think kind of reflects um, like their whole brewing approach, which is like, you know, it's kind of cool looking, but it's pretty simple. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a good, it's a pretty good standby. Yeah, it reminds uh, me, sorry, the, the, the can kind of reminds me of the cover of the Death Cab for Cutie Narrow Stairs album. A little bit. Oh, my mistake. I don't think this is an IPA. This is just a dip popped pale ale. Okay, so that's why it's so clear, I think, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so... Sometimes clear uh, IPAs. Sometimes. Sometimes. I think I had one a couple weeks ago for this very video, didn't I? Yeah. Did, have we done one before? I thought this was our first one. Hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding. The dementia's coming through. No, no. You're fine. I just got distracted drinking no. this lovely. That's good. It's good to be distracted while drinking a beer. It means you're having a good time. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of bummed because I was going to hit up Arbiter today after, because I'm missing right now a matinee showing of Conan the Barbarian. That sucks. Yeah. It, it, I have seen it quite a few times before, and I'm feeling better than I was a few days ago, but I was still like, well... You know, we've got it's shitty out. I have like a massive sinus headache. I don't know if I could manage like sitting in a theater for two hours. Yeah, that's rough. I don't know how contagious I still am. Like, yeah, I don't really want to make everyone else sick. No, that's a good. You're 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 doing the smart thing. Uh, you know, there will be yeah. they will cone in again. Oh yeah, I hope. I'm just sword and sorcery month, and like I'm missing Conan today. And um, they're showing Beastmaster, which is like my favorite movie when I was eight. While yeah. Europe, you know, first world problems, right? Yeah. <laughs> first world <laughs> problems are still problems. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can potentially do next week from Europe if you're willing to. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure something out. I'm different. I will be six hours ahead. Okay. So maybe, um, well... I am. I think I mentioned I'm close to. Ooh, excuse me. The McKellar bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if they sell bottles, but I'm gonna see. Um, I'd be willing. Like we don't. We aren't doing shit like uh, late at night. I think Saturday or Sunday. So Saturday, I'm probably gonna be pretty jet lagged. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure or... out what works best. I found out it's wall to wall uh, Boeing planes for taking. Oh, so. great! Yeah. <laughs> Good. And hasn't so, been hasn't been uh, problems there. I would be jet lagged or just like a chunk of meat at the bottom of the North Atlantic. <laughs> yeah, let's um, let's not tempt fate here. No, you know, um, I'm trying to convince myself. I don't know if this is just cope, but um, you know, like. We're taking Iceland Air, and it's like, oh, it's their national airline. And, like, Iceland depends a lot on tourism, so they're going to be maintaining that shit, hopefully. One would think. I would think... Uh, I don't want to curse anybody. I would think now would be probably be a pretty safe time to fly with Boeing, because I'm assuming that they are going to have their shit together because they're going to need to. Ooh, I poured the last that beer. Here. That was cool. <laughs> Look like a little bomb went off. Speaking of Boeing, no, um, <laughs> no, um, well, hold on. Tonight's WrestleMania, the second night. 
Uh, there's seven matches tonight. I'm excited. I took the day off tomorrow so that I can have beers and uh, other substances. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm going to be grilling. So, yeah. Oh, and well, I wish we were geographically closer, I would say, but, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to hang out with you anyway because I am full of mucus. <laughs> Well, Lex had a really rough time last night because her sinuses are just kicking her ass. And so she was uh, dealing with that last night. So I felt bad for her. So hopefully she's feeling better today uh, so we can muscle through four more hours of pro yeah. wrestling. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. So um, I don't know. That's been the beer video. Uh, go watch some wrestling. Go drink some beers. And... Um, if you take anything away from this video this week, if you remember anything about it at all, it's that mommy's always on top. Indeed. Mm. Bye, everybody.